My name's Andrew, I'm from Compost Central, Byron Bay in Australia. Behind me is a facility that we've just created, the compost system, the Worm Farm Hotel to cater for all the food waste here at the resort. To my left is the biochar kiln, which is taking all the carbon waste, e.g. coconuts, palm fronds, branches, so forth. So this is a pilot project in Sri Lanka and one of the opportunities is to showcase this technology, combining these two waste streams and putting it into a food garden. So what we'll have in a few months is, is a, a very verdant and robust food garden. The worms, the microbes are breaking down the compost. They produce soil. The soil is then taken out of the subpod tropic and introduced into the food bearing uh, gardens here at Talala. The unique design of the subpod is a system that is dealing with aeration and soil absorption. The soil around the systems keep it cool and increase airflow. So what it does is basically for the tropics, it stabilizes and produces effective compost. What we've created is a compound area that's self-sufficient for the resort to deal with the food waste and carbon waste. Our target is actually using all our waste uh, in the compost system. Uh, because at the moment, uh, uh, sending the waste out has become a major problem. So it's a major problem in Sri Lanka at, at the moment. So when we look to find somewhere to stay, you know, the important part of uh, where we look is, is health and food. And, um, and if I could see that there is a resort that is 100% sustainable in terms of their food and their gardening, um, that would be a big, a big impact on me and where I'd want to stay. The byproduct of biochar and the compost, in this case here at Talala, is to create three garden ships. The first garden ship will deal with organic food for the chef. The second and third garden ship will be dealing with Sri Lankan herbs and spices and rainforest remedy based food. Also creating a unique educational facility for everyone here. The staff, the guests, the villagers as a resource for the university which we're happy to have on board. Nowadays, uh, Sri Lankans are more going for uh, organic farming and organic cultivation, organic food. Now we are fed up with chemical fertilizers and all that. Our soil is degraded and now we have to nourish them again. Uh, this could be a very good idea to, uh, to our future generations and uh, for Sri Lankan community. Feed the soil, feed the world.